Welcome back to the Body Art Show. I'm Julie Tatton from the Global College of Body Art. Tonight we continue on with our interviews with the Skin Wars cast. Tonight we speak with Feli. Welcome Feli, how are you? Hey Julie, how are you? Well, thank you, thank you for joining us. You've been airbrushing for 26 years, is that right? Yeah, I think I've been saying 26 years for about four years now, so, <laughs> you know, I, I've I'm uh, I'm a little older than that, but I think I've been airbrushing since I was about 14 now, and I'm 42. So. And your your company's called Kingpin Airbrushing. Is yeah, it? Kingpin Customs. We do um, you know, a lot of motorcycles and a lot of uh, large scale murals for concerts and tours. Yeah, and it's, I've heard you've done a bit of work with some hip hop artists. Is that right, Jay Z and? Uh, tell me yeah, a bit some about of that. everybody. Um, well, you know, I started off actually uh, doing the large scale backdrops for like Tyler Perry and doing a lot of work for the tours and that transferred over into the concerts and, you know, actually got an opportunity to do some work for cats like Jay-Z and Lil Wayne and, you know, Chris Brown and some of everybody over the yeah. past 18, 18, 19 years. That's great. Can you remember the first time you painted on a body? Yeah, it was, it was a very, uh, <laughs> um, it was exciting to say the least. Yeah. How did it come about? Um, actually, I saw, you know, a friend of mine, he was actually body painting and he asked, you know, I had already had my, my business, my studio, and he asked, could he, you know, use my space to paint some girls? And he brought in three or four girls and, you know, he, he was using spray paint and, you know, a lot of other things. And I was like, I don't think that's the way to do it. And <laughs> once I seen him do it, I said, I think I can, you know, try my hand at this and actually been doing it now for about 10 years. So how did, how did it come about that you were on Skin Wars? Did you apply or did they approach you? Or? Well, they actually approached me. I, I think they were, you know, when they were uh, doing the search, actually, uh, when I first started, I was blessed to be able to work with some of the top body painters in the industry, you know, Pasher and a few other guys. Yeah. And actually, uh, Pasher, you know, recommended me for the show. And you had to, to move to L.A. and all move into the one house. What was that like? You know, it was exciting, um, you know, living with the cast mates. And, you know, we stayed in a, you know, they, they took care of us. We stayed in a real nice mansion. And, yep. and you know, just being in a, in a house where, you know, you have 10 other artists that's extremely creative and, you know, other artists from different parts of the world. It was, you know, it was definitely, you know, fun. And being able to learn from each other, you know, yeah. it was a beautiful thing. So had you had you done a lot of brush body painting before or mainly airbrush? Actually, I've done a little brush, but not a lot. So, you know, definitely being a part of the show, you know, um, you know, I, I learned a lot, you know, from glitter to using prosthetics and, and different things that I could add to my repertoire that I had never, you know, used before. Yeah. So it was definitely a learning experience. Was it hard painting under the pressure of the cameras watching and, and you know, the time pressure? How did you find that? Well, you have no idea how stressful it is. Um, you know, my average time um, when it comes to body painting is about three to four hours, you know, full body. And when you have a clock and, and you know, they tell you, well, you have six hours to do this, you're thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I'm great. Yeah. And when that clock gets a ticking, it's a whole nother world. It's right, definitely, yeah. uh, definitely a learning experience and definitely stress and pressure. Yeah, yeah. Would you, if you had it to do over, would you do it again? I would do it in a heartbeat. Would you? you know, I loved it. You know, I love testing myself and I love being tested. And, um, you know, it, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah. What do you think was the favorite part about it for you? I think the great thing about the show is, you know, when you look at artists, you think one thing and you have no idea who these people really are mm -hmm. until you, you know, really dive into, you know, the characters. And, you know, like Dutch and, you know, a couple of, of the other uh, members, cast members on the show, you know, it's nothing like they appear. You know, Dutch looks like this big, hard brute, but he's actually, you know, he's a gentle giant and, right. and you know, gear is as wild as he is on camera. <laughs> but um, every everyone was beautiful, and, and I think that was my favorite part, just getting to know the other castmates. So what does the name Feli mean? I've heard, I've heard references to Iron God. <laughs> Where does that come from? Actually, when I was born, um, you know, my real name is Kenyatta. Okay. Um, when I was born, my older, my older, his brother, he's actually five years older than me, and you know, you know, a kid with an imagination. You know, he he gave me that name when I was born yeah. as a nickname, and it just, you know, I I love it. It works for me being an artist, and you know, it just always stuck. So it was nothing that I created or anything like that. 
right. And right. someone told me, you know, years later that it meant Iron God. I don't know how truthful that is, but <laughs> it's, it wrote, you know, it sounds good, so I'm going to roll with pretty it. pretty cool. <laughs> right, right. I'd be, I'll be an Iron God. I'm okay with that. <laughs> there were some quite emotional moments when you were, you were speaking about um, your kids and, and doing some paintings on behalf of your kids. A little girl and, a, and an older son, is that right? Yeah, well, my, my son is actually, he's 26, and he's married, and, um, you know, he's living a fabulous life. And my, my daughter, she's actually, she's not a little girl anymore. She's actually 19 in college. And, um, you know, that's what really sparked that, you know, it was the hardest thing for me to do yeah. was to be able to, you know, let her go to college, you know, let go. Because yeah. that was the first time where she was able to be away from me. Oh, the judging panel and, and some of the other cast members in tears, it was Quite an emotional moment, I believe, on that on that panel. Definitely, I think I lost it too, and I, I seen gear. You know, I seen a tear coming out of gear's eye, so <laughs> it was it was uh, definitely a different experience. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, when you're dealing with artists, you know, you 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 we tend, you know, a lot of us are passionate about what we do, Absolutely. so you tend to get those real moments. Yeah. And the show definitely showed a lot of that. How are you finding your um you're being received by the public now? Are you recognized in the street or Yeah, I'm I'm one of those people that, you know, is is it's kinda weird to me. So, you know, I'm going places and people are saying, Hey, aren't you that guy? And this and that then, you know, I've had a few people that love the show and don't know who I am. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like I guess I've never wore a hat or anything on the show. So yeah, yeah. you know, I take my hat off and they say, Oh my god, I don't know a hat makes that much of a difference but um yeah, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's definitely definitely a blessing. Do you think it's made a, a positive impact on your business as well? Oh yeah, I'm actually um, you know, if I can, you know, speak on it a little bit, I'm actually in the process of relocating to Atlanta, uh, Georgia, huh? and I'm opening up a um, you know, a body painting studio out there. No one has a studio where they're actually offering the service. So, I think definitely, you know, building off of the show success um, it'll be a great opportunity for me to maximize this, you know, in Atlanta. That's great. But I have to make sure I get across the waters over to Australia. Right. You know, well, you'll be very welcome. We can show you the sites and the and the good places to eat when you come. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Billy. I look forward to hearing great things about your future plans in Atlanta. Thanks again. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank Wonderful. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Julie. Well, that's it for tonight's show. Thank you for watching and please join us next week for another episode of The Body Art Show. I'm Julie Tatton from the Global College of Body Art. Good night. Mm -hmm.